Okay, howdy folks. Um, it's been a couple of days and I managed to get PFSense running on this small Gigabyte J1900N motherboard. I did have some initial problems, most of which can be attributed to the shitty memory that I was using and I don't know why this isn't focusing here I'm trying to trying to get it to focus for you guys but um, for whatever reason I can't so I apologize about that so this module if you can if you can see it really has no indication of um, what the voltage is on it and yeah I mean you got speed kind of um, yeah I don't see an indication of voltage so here is the thing that you want to be aware of with using this board you definitely want to make sure that you're running um, low power RAM so this this stuff um, is made by G skill and it's uh, 1.35 low voltage the, I, I forget what the price was on this I think um, almost positive I got it from Newegg it could not have been more than 30 bucks and you can see that uh, PF Sense had no trouble finding it. Um, let's see where are we at here. Uh, release. You can see there's the cores. Oh, here we go. Towards the bottom here. Let me see if I can scroll down a little bit. So, I mean, eight, you know, eight gig could be overkill depending on what kind of packages you want to run. And I've been um, just sort of playing around with stuff, and I, you know, I I have a few things. Let me go to uh, the package manager, which is pretty nice. And this just will show what packages are or up and running or installed, I guess. And um, you know, your mileage may vary depending on what sort of stuff you you have installed um, I also am still using this um, I believe it's a one terabyte blue um, yeah one terabyte blue this disk is not terribly old so I figured you know I can run a proxy and cache stuff low power I mean this drive doesn't generate that much heat um, and then also I kind of labeled the LAN and WAN here it was kind of weird to figure that out I, I had crazy companion here helping uh, uh, helping with things of course he really doesn't help causes more problems um, also I have um, a new case and I'm gonna review this case in a in a in another video it's a um, a pretty nice case. Let me see if I can find it for you here. So it's this Metis um, by Regenic, Regentech. Not really great about uh, about that name there. Um, so, oh, sorry, sorry, kitten. Kittens always seems to be in the in the way here so this is a mini ITX chassis I like it because it it comes in a multitude of colors this one is um, let's see buddy wants to keep coming back for more even though stay in your little network cable box there bud what, what are you doing now okay let's let's go come on get out of here it it has mounting for um, a hard drive up here and you know SSDs down here I, I think you can get maybe two in 
and then the board obviously is here. The one big reason why I picked this case was simply for the fact that it will run a standard power supply. And I, I think it's important if you're building a device like a firewall, you know, yeah, it's it's a good idea to have it compact and small and everything else, but you also want to be able to uh, replace stuff easily. So, I mean, if this power supply goes up in flames, I have other standard ATX power supplies I can put in place. So that was important to me. It also has a 120 millimeter cooling fan that's, you know, going to keep everything cool. It runs at a very low RPM, so it's basically silent. The only thing that I think I will probably end up doing is um, taking apart it on the inside of the case and getting rid of the um, the the uh, headers and stuff for USB and the audio, just for the fact that I you know it's a firewall. I'm not going to be plugging anything in here. If I if I do plug anything in, um, it would be in the back of the machine. So. Uh, this one also has a, um, a a window, a case window, which I thought is kind of neat. Um, this is really the first machine I've ever built that has a window. I normally don't like that kind of stuff, but I thought this would be kind of cool and um, you know something something different to try. So uh, I I got the red one. This was again at, at Newegg. I think retails around 80, but it was 50 uh, with free shipping and they come in a multitude of colors. I don't know why I chose red. I figured it was something different and kind of reminds me of, um, you know, red, you know, firewall, you know, pay attention kind of thing. So um, it was either between that or black. The black looked really good. They're all really cool colors. Um, we'll, I'll do an unboxing and an actual build video later on when I can, when I can find some more um, time. And I want to, you know, I'm very specific with, with what I build um, computers. Try to take take time and make sure all the cabling's routed nice. And I figure with that window, you're definitely going to want to make sure that it looks right. So uh, take a hard look at this case if you're going to be building something with, um, you know, the, uh, the the form factor. And um, it's uh, for the price, it's nice, and it, you know, it's going to be a little tricky getting everything to fit but I think that uh, it, it should work out pretty well. So um, that's the case, and so stay tuned for, for other videos um, with the build, but very, uh, very successful getting that motherboard and PF Sense to play nice together. The most important thing, I cannot, I, and I can't stress this enough, is RAM compatibility. Um, just make sure that you have uh, the right RAM and absolutely make sure that it is the right speed. Um, this this G skill worked fine and again 1.35 volts. There's probably only you know four or five major manufacturers that even make RAM these days and um, I've used G skill you know many many times um, and you know matter of fact I mean I have in my my drawer of junk here, I mean, I have all kind of you know G skill stickers here from the the RAM that I've um, you know bought over over time and what and whatever. But um, yeah, so I, I would recommend their RAM, and that will will get you from um, having troubles with this board because I couldn't. What was happening? I would put the um, an, a, a WAN interface on and it would drop. It would just randomly lock up or things just wouldn't work right. It was very flaky and now that I have this RAM in um, it, it seems to be perfectly fine and that's you know that's usually the case with with troubleshooting computers is um, you know if the motherboard is is acting strange I you know check check the power or check um, RAM usually and this in this circumstance it, it turned out to be uh, RAM for sure so I hope that that will help somebody out in the near future if they if they decide to to use uh, PF Sense and this particular board this uh, GA 
one nine uh, excuse me, GAJ one nine zero zero N dash D three V. Uh, it's a fantastic board. Uh, you know, I'm not overtly thrilled with the Realtek chipset for the Knicks, but there's really nothing at this price point that you can compare it with. And um, you know, the, the you know the, the thermal sensor doesn't really lie, lie there. If you know, you're talking, this is barely warm to the touch. You know, with that fan going this um this motherboard will will live forever i mean honestly with good clean power from a ups you know um would this this board will have no no trouble handling uh plenty of traffic and um so if you you know in an environment uh home use small office home office even small business i would say um you know under under 50 users maybe under 30 users depending on your internet um, speed you know right now I have 50 down I will be getting 300 down eventually so this this will handle that plenty fast so definitely take a hard look at the board um, again this has the latest F4 revision BIOS you want to make sure you have 1.35 volt memory and uh, you really shouldn't have too much trouble so look for the next video here um, I don't really know when I'll have time to get this thing built, but I will have a build video just showing some steps on how to do it and um, getting uh, everything tidied up. And then it's, you know, it's up to you. So very simple to do. I hope this helps someone out, and we'll see you next time.